Okay, I'm gonna give you some uh, information how to set up, uh, how to put the paper, which is not too hard to do. Usually you set a roll in the back. In this case, I'm gonna set this one right here. And uh, I can slide it under this way. And then usually it goes like a half inch this way. Lock it this other way. Make sure it's straight from here. Put it straight, half inch right here, and lock it. Now, um, right here on the menu, this is to set up the uh, cutter. Uh, so just make sure you, right now I have the highest force. I put a small needle, so usually the numbers that you put, wanna put in here, you wanna start with 80, 90, 100, 120, the most, sometimes 160, okay. You press this, once you press this, it says uh, move, now you can move it. You can move this, um, you move these arrows, you can move it this way, and you can move this other way, backwards. The other two arrows, that's to move this down or move it back. Okay. So let's see. Okay. So uh, if you want to start, let's say from here, this is what you do. The way it is right now, that shows that uh, the move. Um, press this this way. Bring it down. Once it's ready from wherever you wanna start cutting, what you do is on these ones, just press this button, which is the origin. And now you can see it's ready. Right here you can bring the pressure down or higher by pressing these numbers. This one you can press the speed, this two, that's for the speed. So, let's see. Uh, okay, um, I connect already my USB right here and my USB in here. Now, once I connect that, it's very important for you to see if the communication uh, on the cable is okay or not. So, this is what I do I go here, and there's a search in there. And what I do in this area. I type DEV as a vector, it's like that. Device manager DEV. And there should be uh, right here, device manager. So I click, hold my mouse, I drag it in there, and create a shortcut or just drag it out of there. That one, so you can have it open. That's it, very important because I show you. Let me open it. See how it says right here, uh, PCI Simple Communication Controller. And on the bottom, it shows the port setting. That's a COM1. And when you open your program, which is Flex, let me open it. And you try to send something to the cutter. See how it says COM1? That's very important. If you sometimes uh, want to change this for any reason, I'll show you. Press down. Minimize. Okay, you can change it here. Click here twice. And then here. Let me see. Okay. You want to change it? Click there. For settings. And advance. And then right here you can change it. Scroll this down or up. Right, you can put it on, on COM1 right here, COM2, COM3, etc. So COM1, okay it, uh, okay it. So COM1. If you if you set up the the input in here, don't plug it in another area because you'll see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna plug it from there. It went away. So I'm gonna plug it in here instead now you plug it in other area that that is not there you see what's gonna happen 
see it's number eight you don't want that so you need to get this cable put it where it was right on this other side now uh, it says uh, on the port settings number one so it should be okay so if you have it on COM1 and you open your flexi program and when you send whatever you want to send in this case this or anything let me grab a square you want to send that to the cutter you guys just go there and you open this program and uh, if you notice there's a uh, like something in there that means I already sent some job to this this machine so what you need to do to empty the memory from this is uh, go here and uh, click on properties and it's gonna open right here if this one opens just click ok so it'll move out of, out of your way ok it right here ok and if you notice there's a line right here let me show you there's a uh, let me move it this way ok right here it already sent a job and, it, and nothing happened so you have to select it I selected already go here and empty it delete it see that's what you need to do because right now the 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 the, the, the vinyl card is thinking uh mm, you already sent me a job but the ports were not set the right way so okay right here just minimize it there or just click on uh, these two right here minimize it okay so now right here let's see we can test it by pressing this button here there you go we can either send it uh, to this uh, cutter right here send now um, if you if you want to send something let's say and you, you don't have this machine ready by let's say right now I'm gonna press this button see how it says move it's for you to move the blade if you forget to to press origin and you don't do it this is what's gonna happen I'm gonna send it to the cutter right here send it's uh, sending information but it's not doing nothing why because I have my yellow button on which is to move it manually so just don't press the same button press this that says origin there it's gonna start working watch See? okay and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, adjust the blade for the first time and uh, let me see I'm gonna unscrew it there and I'm gonna remove it out of there and I'm gonna show you what you need to do with this. Let me see, give me one second. Yeah, this one. Let me show you. This blade, let me see how can I do this. Okay, the blade, you need to remove, see uh, what, what, what you can do is, if you press this down, the button, you see the it's coming out so you can remove it out of there uh, like this clicking here remove it slide it out see that's the blade right there you want to put it back in place just go slide it there you go now right there if you need to adjust it more or less just turn it See how it is? It is adjusted the blade. So right now I I can show you guys. See how it is sticking out? The little tip. Lock it and put it back in place. And there. There's light. there yeah slide it in lock it and then uh, 
turn this on yellow button on there move the, the media you can run a test if you want to run a test this is what you do turn it off right there and right here just send it to the um, so you can run a test right here and it should be able to let me turn the yellow light on to see if it's cutting properly or not that's how it's gonna look okay 